The field of therapeutic neuromodulation is rapidly changing, and it's something that's very exciting, both in terms of new research tools that we have available to study brain behavior relationships, and also now new therapeutic tools. So I think it's important for psychiatrists to know about these neuromodulation modalities because they represent options for our patients when psychotherapy or psychopharmacology alone are not fully effective. So for example, transcranial magnetic stimulation, or TMS, is now FDA approved for the treatment of depression. And in addition to electroconvulsive therapy, which has remained a gold standard treatment, we now have a broadening array of new treatments on the horizon, some of which are still at the experimental stage uh, and some of which are currently available. The important point here is that we need to have a wide range of treatments and tools to match what is most appropriate for the patient. So it's not that these new technologies are going to replace the gold standard of electroconvulsive therapy, but rather they complement and they provide alternatives and options. For example, transcranial magnetic stimulation has fewer side effects than elect electroconvulsive therapy, so you can use it earlier on in the course of illness. But ECT continues to be a very important treatment for our most severely depressed patients and also for patients who have acute suicidal ideation or in our, are in need of rapid improvement. Magnetic seizure therapy, or MST, is an experimental treatment that we've been developing. It uses magnetic fields to induce the seizure. So whereas with ECT, you use electricity to induce the seizure, magnetic seizure therapy is less invasive. And the goal here is to spare the regions of the brain that are responsible for the cognitive side effects of ECT, such as memory loss, so that we can retain what's good about that treatment, which is that it's so powerfully antidepressant, but minimize the adverse side effects, which is the memory loss. Uh, well, I think an important take-home point from this presentation is that dose matters. And when we think about medications, we know what dose is. It's the milligrams, it's the blood level of the medication, it's the number of pills per day. We understand dose for medications. Dose for brain stimulation is an evolving field, and it's a rapidly changing field. Our understanding of how you dose brain stimulation is emerging. And my talk emphasizes the evidence that we're gathering about the role of electroplacement, coil design, parameters of stimulation, duty cycle, and so on. All of these are very important. And the field is just beginning to grapple with these dose-response relationships and we really need individuals who focus on establishing that basic science of how neuromodulation affects the functioning of brain circuits for the treatment of neurological and psychiatric conditions.